Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can probably tell by the actual title, I will be making liquid flux. Now you can actually make uh, flux paste out of this as well. Same ingredients, just different quantities. Um, but if you are interested in seeing how it's done, hang around and I will show you. Right, let's get started then. So the first thing you're going to need is rosin. Now, this is quite cheap. You can buy on eBay or Amazon. I got this on Amazon. It was a couple of quid, something like that, because it's not a big piece. But you don't need nothing major uh, size-wise, because it breaks up, crumbles up um, into quite small pieces. So that should be fine for, to keep me going for a while. I might have actually made this liquid flux, or even the paste. You can, as long as you've got an airtight bowl, it will last you a couple of years. Um, you know, in, in the sense that it won't go off. Obviously, it depends on how much you use it, but, you know, it won't go off. Right, so basically, you get your rosin. Horrible stuff. Let's get it out of its packaging. And this is like a big lump of glass, in the sense that if you drop it or smash it, it will shatter into pieces, which is what we want to do, but we want to try and contain it all. We don't want it to go everywhere. Uh, you don't need a big old piece off of this, but I'm going to get this out. All the bits are, yeah, perfect. That's it. And to be honest with you, Keep that to one side. Okay. Right now, I'm going to break this up into tiny little pieces. So you might want to cover this when you do it because it does go everywhere. I think I'll be violent with it. Just cover it with a bit of kitchen roll to uh, stop it from going everywhere. It, it really does break easy, so it's not like you need a hammer. Or sledgehammer or anything like that to uh, deal with it. about it and you can sort of like spend a bit more time get it a little bit uh, finer but I think that's going to do me now this stuff is really sticky or can be sticky be careful what you actually do what surface you do this on you'll need to clean up afterwards I'm happy with that I'm going to put this in a jug now, for making liquid flux, basically, you add one part of this, was it, three parts of the IPA, the alcohol. So, not an exact science, no, I'm just guessing. Now, if you want to actually make the actual flux paste, basically the same quantities but in reverse it's, it's three parts of the rosin and one part of the uh, alcohol okay so that's that now the finer you get this powder down to the actual quicker it's going to uh, dissolve in the IPA so spend a bit of time trying to get as good as you can now, my well, one part. Now, this will make quite a bit, and to be honest with you, you know, you, you don't really, uh, this won't go off. 
this will last you two years as long as it's in an airtight container um this will last you not going to be a problem now really that is it you just got to let it dissolve keep, pay attention to it just keep stirring it every now and again and it will dissolve sometimes it can take half an hour to an hour whatever but uh make sure it's all dissolved and then we'll boil it up and then we'll go about testing it you know what that took about 30 to 40 minutes to dissolve it all dissolved quite nicely um now what i'm going to do is transfer it into a reasonably sized bottle because you can't make this stuff in small tiny quantities very hard to uh get the calculations right i'm just going to pour this into here carefully i don't spill any i'll be surprised Oh, oh, a bit too much there. Anyway, let's get the lid on that. Now, while the lid's on, that's airtight now. It's got another capital, but it's a squeezy bowl. What a lot of people are doing are putting them in these small, small little e-cigarette um, containers, juice containers. They clean them out, take the labels off and pour it in there, and it's easy to work with these. I don't mind this size bowl. I don't use it tons, so you know it's not like it's uh, going to be in the way. While it's in there, make sure the lid's on tight. Good old shake up. Yeah. Now it's ready to go. Now we've got to do the testing and see if it works. Okay, so this gives us a test. I'm going to try and do a little solder on one of these connections. Nothing major. Liquid flux, homemade liquid flux, and. Give that a clean up. Well, not the prettiest of uh, soldering, but it's certainly done the job. Let's try this over here. This is a scrap board, so I'm not too worried about what I do to it. So anyone starts panicking. No. Well, I would say that it's on there solid. It was a, that's a pass for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did enjoy the video, if it helped you at all, or if you found it entertaining, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe.